Hello, everybody. It is uh, Rob the Replicator here. Uh, I'm just doing a video of the top 10 things I would do if I was starting out, if I was a new creator looking to make comics today, right now, starting from scratch. Uh, just give, give, give you my top 10. So let's get into it. Um, so I've written them out here. As you can see, hire the best artist you possibly can. Uh, so not everyone's going to be able to do this, right? Because, you know, artists cost money. You, you're going to have, I assume, a limited budget um, depending on what your other job is um, because comics take shitloads of money to make. Um, so if you, if you have an unlimited budget, I would hire the best possible artist you can um, because it makes it, an absolute shit ton easier to sell comic books if the art is fantastic. Uh, there's no other way around it. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying if you hire the best artist out there that you're going to be a success. That's not guaranteed. Um, you still have to be able to promote and get out there and, and let people know the book exists. But if you're able to do all those things and you have... A fantastic artist it makes it just so much easier to get people excited and on board so that would be the first thing and just one other quick point on that is you got to think of it as, as a long-term game right you, you let, let's say you can find an artist now that's okay for five grand right and you you can you can you can swing that but the art's okay um as opposed to finding a really good artist for 10 grand right now, for example, right? This is example numbers. Don't freak out about the actual costs. It's going to be much easier selling that the $10,000 art workbook over the course of your life than it is going to be able to sell that $5,000 book. All right. So that is something just to consider. Uh, Short-term pain, long-term gain. Gain? Gain. Gain. So just, yeah. Um think about that so i'm i'm comics gate as you probably all are aware um i think when when you come into it the best thing you can just do as as a new creator is just chill out just don't come in hot just relax take a breath get your feet find find out where all the people are hanging out and hang out with them have fun interact with them um you don't want to come in spouting your political beliefs no one cares uh, it's an off it's off putting um you, you don't want to come in and like you know f this guy f that guy you just want to come in just chill out have some fun and interact with the chat don't go come in straight away go look at my book look at my book it's amazing um just have fun let people know you're here and you know in, in a couple of months after that you know let them know that you've got a book coming along um just people don't like it when you come in hot and you you give your take on every single thing, and then and then you try and sell my book straight away. You just got to chill out and relax. Um, so the next next thing is build your own channel. So this is something that I I, I didn't do. I I I was on uh, how to draw comics for a long time. Um, I got onto a lot of bigger channels, and I just I don't want to say I didn't have the time, but it wasn't it wasn't. At the time, it wasn't the most, um, what's the word I'm looking for, efficient way of, of using my time. Uh, but this is really important. I, even if you build a channel and you've only got 100 people subscribed and you get 20 people watch your live shows or whatever, that's still 20 people that have a pretty good chance of, of backing your book when it comes out. Um, and not not to mention, like, if you've got your own channel, it's it seems easier to get invited onto other people's channels if you have other people on yours, right? So it's kind of like a, a give and take kind of situation. Uh, and just one other thing about that, and this is a small thing, uh, but get it. Try and get a decent setup. Again, I didn't have a great setup for quite a while, um, but I think like th that's part of your brand as well. Like if you've got a, a, a shitty mic and a shitty camera how good is your comic going to be? I know it's a stretch, but people make those connections. Sometimes they 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 think they're the same kind of thing. don't know if I necessarily agree. 
Um, but it's about portraying uh, some sort of image. So that is something I would consider. Also, Twitter. Um, this is where, uh, you know, our fan base hangs out. So if you're, if you're Comicsgate or you're just a new creator that's wanting to make comics, you need to find out where your fan base is. Ours hangs out here. Um, so build it up. I mean, that is the one platform that all of us use pretty much. Um, some people use some of the other ones, uh, but this is Twitter is, is where we're at. So uh, important. I would build those. Build an email list. Uh, you, you can look at statistics about how more much more effective email lists are than uh, social media, and it's true. So uh, build an email list. Uh, use Mailchimp or MailerLite. MailerLite is what I use. Uh, it's it's hard if you're trying to build a mailing list f from nothing. I've built mine off the back of previous campaigns, uh, as well as other other things. But if you don't have anything to build it with, maybe your Indiegogo sign up page can be the start of your mailing list. So that that is something to consider. Uh, set a date and time to when you're launching and do a countdown. So this is kind of three in one. Uh, choose a specific date at a specific time, best suited for America. Again, we'll always say that, best suited for America, and do a countdown. So like, you know, two weeks to go, one week to go, four days, three days, two days. Um, and, you know, if you're launching on a stream, which is the next point, you should launch on a stream. Let them know that's where you're going to be launching. Um, launching on a stream, if you have access to it, is is just much better. It, it, it allows people to share in your excitement uh, of launching a campaign as opposed to just hitting the button and hope people turn up. We've, I've been there before. I mean, you, you hope that they you hope that they will, but when you're able to get in front of people and talk to people in the chat, uh, it, it makes a huge difference. Uh, and it's so much more fun. Like, you know, You've got to have fun while doing this because otherwise, I mean, comics is so, it's such hard work. It's just, it's, 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 it's a grind. It's a slog. Um, so I also, point seven, I'd recommend doing 30 days plus 30 days extension plus in demand. Right. Okay. So there are people that do different things. Some people do uh, 30 days straight. That's it. Uh, we just saw that recently with Eric. Uh, you can do some people do 30 plus 15. I think Graham Nolan does that. Uh, some people don't do in demand. Uh, if you're a new creator, you need to have it up as long as possible. Um, the amount of money that people make in demand uh, is a lot, is a lot. You know, I should bring up my campaign while I've got this here and I can, I can show you. Um, but yeah, it's substantial. And I understand why people don't go in demand, but for a new person, you need to make as much money as possible so that you can make more books, right? So if you look here, we've made uh, roughly 17,000 Australian dollars in demand, right? So if you don't do it, that's money you're going to miss out on. And don't get me wrong, you could uh, potentially, you could potentially make more money during the actual live campaign because you have the fear of people missing out. But again, as, as a first time or small creator, I don't think you're going to get that much buzz during it. Um, the next point would be get, get a short pitch. I hear a lot of pitches and they're very long winded and I've lost interest straight away. Um, I think the best pitch I've heard is Shane Davis's, which is, uh, now I'm going to forget it. I've totally forgot it. I've forgotten it. Um, but it is something, um, big adventure, li little girl, big adventure cat, cats in space. Oh my God. I can't believe that just blanked from my mind. Um, but something like that just gives you a little, a little taste a little sneak peek of what it's about and then you can elaborate from there you, you can go into about you know uh it's got this girl she finds a, a gem and blah 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 and there's cats and the cats are they do this and they have that 
But if you don't have that like initial setup and you just go straight into, you know, all the characters and why they do what they do, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm I'm gone. I've, I've lost interest. My brain's just gone, switched off. This is one that not enough people do and it kind of it it really does grind my gears i know i joke about that a lot but get feedback from the fans we we have some of the best fans over here uh and they'll be happy to give you feedback about what they like and dislike about your campaign you know uh, if something's overpriced uh underpriced if they're missing out on something i mean i've done this bancroft's have done this i just don't understand why you wouldn't do it not only like does it help you tighten up your campaign and make something really, you know, the best it can possibly be, it actually gets them involved. And then when they're involved, they're more likely to be interested and invested in the success of your campaign. So, I mean, that's huge. Um, just do it. I don't understand why you wouldn't. You can also get uh, feedback from other creators as uh from you about your campaign if, if you if you, for, for some reason you don't want to share it out um I, i've done that for for people before and it's it's improved their campaigns it, it it doesn't it never hurts to get more eyes on it and just one thing about this too is right when you ask people for feedback you need to have people that are going to give you honest feedback uh you don't want to have people which I call yes men that just tell you your campaign's fantastic. You want people to actually give you constructive criticism so you can improve. Um, that's really important. Um, the last point is be fun, and it kind of ties back to this one as well. But people want to have fun. They want to they want to have fun over here. So be prepared to take some flack from people. A bit of banter um, and have fun while you're doing it as well. I said that before, but have fun because otherwise it's a lot of work. Um, be prepared to lose money. I've said this before. We didn't make a profit on our campaigns till the third campaign. So, was it the third? It might have been the fourth. But if you're coming here for quick cash, I don't think it can be done. I really don't. I would I would look at doing other things. Um, and just make sure you include your link wherever you're posting stuff. And don't be relentless about it. Like, don't put it on every single thing. But you want it to be there somewhat regularly so people can find your campaign. Um, and one other point is, I, I didn't put this in, but don't, if the campaign runs for 60 days, don't hard pitch it to everyone for 60 days straight. So you want to go a bit hard at the, the be at the beginning and at the end, but during the middle, you kind of want to ease off a bit and just tell people about like what goals you're trying to hit. Like, you know, we're trying to hit, we're on 96 backers. We're trying to hit a hundred backers, right? That's your goal. Uh, we're at nine and a half thousand dollars. We're trying to hit $10,000. Uh, so those kind of things, keep it just ticking over that way. Um, but don't sell to people for 60 days straight. Don't be like, you know, back to the book today. It has to be done, blah, blah, blah. Just just keep it moving along if you can. Uh, and that's it. Uh, and talk about including the link. The link for Replicator 3 is down below. Make sure you check it out. Uh, you can get all three issues for 45 US dollars as an Australian here, so you won't, you won't see it there. But fantastic artwork, great story. Um, and you get a whole bunch of prints too. So it's great value for money. Um, let me know what you think of the video. Leave some comments in, in down below. You've been doing such a great job of that. And hit like and subscribe. Um, thank you all so much. And I'll see you on the next video.